I actually can't believe I just filmed a whole YouTube video in slow motion. Had enough. I've had enough. Hey queens. I did an autumn essentials video. That was my last video I posted. That's kind of bad. Today we're doing a winter one because it did really well and you guys loved it. So I thought I'd do a winter one. Autumn and winter come under the same category for me. Like what the hell do you wear in summer? All I wear in summer is like little tops, little shorts. There's just no fashion there. I just love layering up. Oh, I'm so excited. You guys have been loving my fits on TikTok, my winter fits. So I thought I'd just do a whole dedicated video to it. So then I can kind of talk through like all my essential things I'm gonna be wearing this winter. Because I just love winter. I love winter. Even though I don't really leave the house, it's just better to stay inside in the winter. But when you go to like little things like winter wonderland, like Christmas markets, ice skating, Christmas dinner, little cute outfits. There's just so many like occasions. I've got accessories, hats, gloves, scarves. I don't have hats or gloves and shoes or I've got my whole wardrobe basically. So I don't know which to start with. I'll start with the clothes because I feel like accessories aren't as interesting. They make the outfit but they're not the outfit. I'm gonna start with tops. I feel like that's the easiest thing to start with because it's like the thinnest and it's like working my way up to the bottom. Yeah we'll do that. The first top is this one that I'm wearing right now. I have it in four different colours. It's from White Fox and the fit of it is stunning. This one's so see-through and you can see my bra but the actual fit of it is so nice. It's literally the most perfect fitting top ever. It's like a skims dupe. I mean, I don't have skims, but I don't need skims with these because they are such good quality and they fit so nicely. So I've got it in black and I've got it in this gray color, which I love. I want it too much. So you know when you wear something too much and then you're like, mm, don't want to wear that anymore. Obviously got it in white. And then the other day I got it in brown, but I don't, I don't think I suit brown. I'm trying to suit it, but I just don't think it's for me i just think these are such a staple piece like you can wear them under jumpers you can wear them with like baggy jeans you can wear them with joggers i think you should just wear them with anything i love the fit of them that's such good quality however this one i'm not really wearing the right one for this video but this one's very see-through so i don't know i might not recommend this one obviously it is nice but if you don't want it to be see-through not this one but all the other colors I actually got this the other day as well, which is from White Fox, and it's just like a baggy t-shirt, but I love it. It looks, I mean, White Fox is expensive, but it looks so expensive, but it's just very, like, casual. Like, if someone, like, was wearing this, I would not think it was from White Fox, do you know what I mean? I feel like my boyfriend could wear this and get away with it. He would not, you would not know that's girl's clothing. And then I also have this oversized t-shirt as well, which is also from White Fox. Probably wouldn't wear this one out because it's pink, but it's just comfy. I just love their t-shirts. I have so many of their oversized t-shirts. I really think that oversized t-shirts with baggy jeans look so cool in winter. I'm not really an oversized t-shirt girl, but I got those two the other day. And I'm thinking, they actually look so cool with winter outfits with like my Uggs. You can wear them with anything, to be honest. And I sleep in them. I just live in them, basically. And I'm always at home, so I always just want like a nice oversized t-shirt to put on. You'd actually think I'm sponsoring White Fox at this point because <laughs> all of the clothes I've shown so far are from White Fox. These black low-waisted baggy jeans are from White Fox. I love this on the back. I just think that looks so cool. It just says White Fox with little cherries on. I think that's really cute. Like it's a really cute little detail. I like these as they're washed a bit and they're so baggy. They're like boyfriend jeans, they're so baggy. So wear with this, it looks it looks perfect. They match perfectly together. Right, this is the first thing that's not from White Fox. These are from Zara. I actually had to cut these myself though. These are also low-waisted, they like sit on your hips. Sometimes I like low-waisted, sometimes I don't. I mean, it depends what top I'm wearing. If I'm wearing a long top, I like low-waisted. If I'm wearing a crop top, I like high-waisted. I like mid-rise, but these are really low-waisted. And the thing is as well, this was the smallest size and I had to cut the bottom. I don't think you can tell. I think it just looks like the style of the jeans. I think they actually came, they come like this. Oh, I can't remember. 
one of them came like it and it looked like it was being cut already so it didn't look bad when I cut them but I don't even think that looks bad to be honest then these blue jeans are also from Zara some people are going to be like there's no difference in those jeans but to me there is these are actually high waisted and they're really really tight and they've got like a little white thing on the back as well it does say Zara on it but it's really you really can't see that I think these are the ones that I cut but they were already cut Zara length does not fit me for some reason because these are also the smaller size. This colour is just perfect to me. Like I wanted a colour pair of jeans for this colour for so long. I wanted them to be baggy but these are a bit more on the tight side. So nice. And these are also from Zara. I didn't own a pair of Zara jeans until about three months ago and I don't think I'll ever go back. I don't think I'll ever wear a different brand of jeans they are actually really good price as well they're around like 35 pound and if you think you're gonna wear it so many times i think that's so worth it like jeans you wear every day you can wear them with anything i don't actually know how much jeans are supposed to be but i think 35 pound is quite a good price you probably can't even tell the difference between these and the other black ones but these are these are also tighter and they've got this on the back and they're high-waisted but they are like a washed denim. They're like kind of grey and black. The other ones are just black. Do you know what I mean? But I do really like these. Now moving on to joggers. I love wide leg joggers. These are from Lux to Kill. These are so long. I can't really wear these. I have to fold them up. But it comes with a hoodie and it looks so cool as a tracksuit. But I love wide joggers. I think with Uggs, they just look so good. I do like cuff joggers as well, but I think for winter, they just look cosier. They look more wintery. And you can wear like chunky boots with them, chunky Uggs. Then you look taller if they're really long, like these. These are so long. I love this colour. This is like a charcoal grey. But yeah, this is from Max Kill. I've got so many questions where these are from. I've got some white fox joggers here. Oh, the pockets are hanging out. I have so many white fox joggers again. I think they're the only like joggers I own. I don't own any other joggers apart from those ones. All my other joggers are from white fox. And I love getting matching hoodies to the matching joggers. I just think it looks so cute. That's what I'm going to move on to next is hoodies because I've got the matching hoodie to this. Yeah, these are really nice. I love the colour grey. It's just such a nice grey. A light grey, not dark grey. And they are cuffed at the bottom. I get these in, I don't know what size, pretty sure it is an extra small. And obviously moving on to hoodies, this is the matching white fox hoodie. You just can't go wrong with hoodies in winter, especially staying at home, coffee date, shopping, driving, going on a dog walk. A hoodie always looks good. I actually think I have about 50 hoodies, it's really bad, I need to get rid of some. I got this one the other day and I love it, I can't wait to wear it as a tracksuit together. That's so cute. Of my blue dunks. I also have this white fox hoodie which I got the other day. And pink and it matches the top that I showed at the beginning and it also matches these shorts. I wanted to get the joggers but they didn't have my size unfortunately. I am going to get them though when they come back in stock. I just love the style of white fox. It's so cool. Like the big bubble writing. It actually reminds me of like, you know, in school when you used to do bubble writing. I think it just looks so cool. They do so many like types of tracksuits as well. They're really girly ones, they do colourful ones, they do not, like minimalistic ones. They have all types of tracksuits, which I love. And the quality of them are so good. Now I'm going to do sweaters. Sweaters are so winter. They scream winter. I would not wear a sweater any other time of the year. Maybe autumn as well. I always get them and I never end up wearing them. But I've got some this year and I'm obsessed with them. I wear them all the time. I've got this one from H&M. A ribbed effect if you can see that. And I wanted it for ages and it was sold out for ages. Now I've got it. I love it. It's like off the shoulder. So cute. H&M are so good little sweaters they just keep you warm and they look cozy they give me like mum vibes i don't know if i just i don't want to be a mum obviously but i want to give mum vibes i want to give like oh like she's a cozy mum you don't have them friends that just had really like cool mums and they were really cozy <laughs> and this one is actually from primark and i've got it in the other color here these went viral on tiktok and i was like i need to get my hands on one I love this grey 
it's so nice they're so thick as well i think they're the root aura collab ones i got mine in a size medium because i want it to be a bit oversized but i think you can get any size but if i'd want to wear like a coat with it or something i want it to be like a bit bigger so it's not like it doesn't look like a top do you know what i mean this color is so nice i got another sweater in like a dark gray and i just haven't worn it i thought it was just the sweater i didn't like but it's just the color i think i also got it in this color i'm not sure on this color i just think it washes me out i do really like it though i think it might suit girls with brown hair more they had so many colours though. They had like a royal blue as well, which my friend was going to get. But she didn't like it. I just think they have a colour for everyone. I think the light grey is my colour. Now the last clothing item things are jackets slash coats. This is my favourite thing in winter. Because they just go over everything. You need a coat. You need a jacket in winter. So I think they're such an investment. Because like with like sweaters, you're not necessarily going to wear them, but you need a coat, you need a jacket. So if you see that jacket for £100, get it, because it'll be so worth it. I actually went to Zara the other day and I tried this one and I wasn't sure on it, but I have not taken it off since I got it. They have it in grey as well, and I tried on the grey and I didn't really like the grey, so I didn't think I'd like this one. But then when I tried it on, I actually love it. And I was just saying this colour washes me out, but I really like it in this jacket. It was 30 quid. For Zara, that is so good. Usually, if you go see a jacket at Zara, it's like £200. I thought this was so good, and it's such a nice material. It's like suede. I'm pretty sure that's the right word for it, but it's like soft. It's so nice. You could just wear a very basic outfit, and it dresses up an outfit. And I got this trench coat from White Fox. I don't think I showed this in the other video. I think I had a crop trench coat in the other video. But I got this from White Fox, and... For me, I find trench coats really, really, really hard to find a nice fit. This is so thick and perfect. I've tried so many trench coats and I've never liked one of them. I just thought I didn't suit them. And I got this one from White Fox. It's perfect. It's so nice. It's very long and I just love this colour. It's so nice. Like my friend literally said to me, she messaged me and she was like, where's your trench coat from? I was like, White Fox. And she was like, oh, good, not getting that then. And I was like, honestly, you need it. It's a bit pricey, but you're going to wear it for years. They, trench coats don't go out of fashion. Last year, they were in fashion. I literally remember, because I tried to get a trench coat last year. Didn't like them. Tried to get a few this year. Didn't like them. Got this one. Loved it. So worth the money. And then this is very similar to the trench coat. It's like a similar sort of jacket. It's from Pretty Little Thing. I haven't actually worn it yet. You can see I've still got the label in it. I only got it, like two days ago i'm pretty sure I, this is giving mum vibes i love it i love jackets like this i think it needs a belt or something because it i want it to be more like cinched in at the waist i feel it's very straight with jeans and a nice top it looks so cute and my uggs i love this color it's so nice this quality is actually really good for a pretty little thing as well i kind of sh stopped shopping there because I mean, I do love their clothes, don't get me wrong. I love their jeans. But when it comes to jackets, like I was saying, I was trying to find a nice trench coat. I found a trench coat on Pretty Little Thing. It just wasn't very good quality. So I was like, mm, I don't know if this is going to look nice. I love that. But last of all, for coats slash jackets, I got this. You need a North Face. If it's black, white, pink, blue, red, yellow, you need a North Face. They are the comfiest, warmest things ever i got this a few years ago and i always get asked what size it is but i actually oh. i got a woman's medium run out the house you just chuck a coat on that is perfect and yes again it's very expensive i got it two years ago and it's still in perfect condition however there was this one girl i went to college with and she put blue tag on the back of my coat and now it's stained forever and I will never forgive her for that. She stuck a sign on my back saying like, this computer is out of use. And I literally walked around with it on me. To be fair, it was the end of the day. So luckily I only walked to like the train station. But I was so embarrassed. And now she left a blue, blue tech mark on it. And it was quite new. I think I'd only had it for like, half a year at that point i will never forgive her for that so last of all we're gonna go through the little accessories now i got these earmuffs and they're actually from shein how freaking cute are they they look like the ugg ones 
Ugg Dope. I'm not sure how much they are because I got them sent like two years ago and they've just been sat in my wardrobe ever since because I did I don't have the guts to wear these out the house. Do you know what I mean? I just feel like I feel like a penguin when I wear them. They can be cute at the same time. I don't know. Also, I picked this up from Primark the other day. How cute is this? One of them headbands. <laughs> I don't actually know how you wear it. I think you can wear it like this, but that just, that looks weird on me. No, I don't, I don't think you're supposed to wear it like this. I think you're supposed to wear it like this. I just, I'm not, it makes my forehead look massive. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you guys think, if it's cute or not. I really want to wear this to Winter Wonderland because I have matching gloves. I mean, they do have matching gloves in Primark. It was literally three pounds. Like, go and get one. And they have loads of different colours. I just thought this one went the best, like, with my hair colour. And the colour of my scarf is this colour. And the colour of my gloves are this colour. So I was like, I just want to get matching. My gloves are the exact same material as this. And I think it's such a nice, cosy material. Love that. I'm not going to show you my gloves though because they're, like, four years old. But I didn't get them when I bought that. But they did have gloves to match that. But they weren't as cute. Then I got this scarf. Which is also from Primark actually. It smells really nice. You know when you spray yourself and then you like take your top off or take your hoodie off. And then you put it on the next day and you're like, oh, mm, I actually smell nice. Because you could never smell yourself like when you put it on yourself. But then the next day if you put it on, you're like, oh god, is that what I smell like? That smells really nice. I don't think that's what it smells like. I think I just sprayed something on me when I was out when I wore it. Because whenever I go to perfume shops, I don't know if anyone else does this, I literally spray myself with every single perfume. And all my friends are like, what are you doing? I just love, I, I want to walk past people and they're like, ooh, what perfume is that? But then if someone actually did ask me, I would not know what to say because I'd have 100 perfumes on. Yeah, this scarf is from Primark. It was literally eight pounds and it's so cute. I didn't really know if I like chunky long scarves, but I'm trying to get into them more. And I really like this. It's such nice material as well. Love it. Then onto shoes. You know what I'm gonna show you. My Uggs. I'm not gonna lie. I had to wait about three months for these because I kept checking their website and sold out, sold out, sold out. Every size, every color of Uggs were sold out. If you want to get Uggs for next winter, Make sure you get them right. Make sure you get them in July because they're impossible to get in winter. These are actually from the UGG website though because me and my boyfriend's sister went shopping the other day and she really liked these ones so she tried them on in office but they were like, they were called sand so they were the exact same colour. These are in sand by the way if you want to know. They were the exact same colour but they looked pink. Like it was weird. And we told the guy that works there and he was like, oh yeah, how long have you had yours? And I was like, like a week. And he was like, oh yeah, they've probably changed colour since then. And I was like, mm, okay, whatever. So if you want these exact ones, I'd go to Ugg. Look, they're literally creased already. I think that's from the rain though, because I wore them out the other day and it rained and now the creases are like indented. But they weren't there before. I've honestly had these for two weeks. So don't know why they're creased. It's my own fault for wearing them in the rain. I didn't know it was raining. I went out for a meal with my friend and then as we were leaving, I realised it was chucking it down and we had to walk back to the car because they got drenched. I also am obsessed with these Uggs. Of course they're Uggs again. I actually want all the Uggs. I've ordered some Uggs Tasmans as well. Someone stop me. Someone take my card away from me right now because they are a fortune. I have these Uggs as well. These are for the house, I'm pretty sure. I mean, you probably can wear them outside. I just wear them in the house, I like my slippers to me, but I think these are so cute and I, if I was rich I'd get another pair for outside and then a pair for inside because they're so comfy, although I almost broke my neck in them the other day, I was literally walking down the stairs and my whole ankle, you know when your ankle like folds, my whole ankle folded in these, luckily there was a banister there, but I almost died. Then next are these shoes, I feel like these are really controversial, I've had so many people say that these are ugly and so many people say they're really nice i think they're coming in i haven't actually worn them out yet i have these in gray and white as well and i love my gray and white ones so i thought i'd get this color as well my stepdad doesn't like the color of the bottom sole but i think it looks really cool i like that they're from adidas so 
they're so cute i feel like these could go with so many outfits when i ordered them i thought they were like a pink but getting them in real life they look more gray they probably look great on the camera to be honest for the last accessories are my two bags my favorite bags ever i did show this in my other video this is from sarah mart so it's not real it was literally 20 pound i love this though i think it just goes with every outfit it's such a cute little pouch like it's just tiny you just all you need in there is your phone that's it and then i also got this before i went on holiday and i wanted it for my holiday and they were like no it's not gonna come for a month and then day before my holiday I literally turned up at the door someone was looking out for me that day it's fake it's not real I would not spend three grand on a bag. It's actually of really good quality and it's massive. It's got so much space in it. I don't really think there's anything in there, but it's actually got a lot of space in it. I thought it'd be a lot smaller. That's the end of the winter essentials. Let me know if you want to see a like styling video kind of thing or a winter haul. I don't really know what to film. So let me know in the comments what else you want to see fashion related. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in my next video.